Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie which is all about integrating cheap IoT devices with your favorite home automation ecosystem. In my case I am using platforms like Hoops or Homebridge uh, to integrate with these devices to get the same rich home automation experience and you all have seen that in my past videos. If you haven't please do and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Well I should have done this as my first plugin video since it being a very easy simple straightforward to have it uh, up and running into uh, Apple Home Kit, but you know what? It's never too late uh, to do so. So, on our quest to integrate our not so cheap IoT devices into Apple Home Kit, in today's video, we will integrate the Magic Home app into Apple Home Kit and get all of these devices working flawlessly uh, with Apple Home Kit. Once I got this plugin up and running, I found no excuse to get more devices that work with my Magic Home app and have it integrated uh, with Apple HomeKit to get that fantastic disco disco effect uh, that you will see soon. Now remember, to get these devices working uh, with Magic Home app, there's another alternative of using Task Motor. With Task Motor, you can use MQTT or HTTP uh, to work in your local area network. It's another way of doing it and also you can integrate it with your preferred home automation ecosystem. We won't be doing that in today's video, Probably somewhere down the line, I will have a video uh, on how to use MQTT to integrate with your uh, home automation system. So let's keep it simple and straightforward. And just in case you want additional uh, information on different types of LEDs um, and their technical specifications, I've added a video uh, in the description which will be helpful as well. So take a look just in case you have some doubts on the different types of LEDs that you can use for your own personal use. For all of this to work, we will need one, a compatible Magic Home app uh, device. In my case, I'm using this cheap LED controller. Two, a smartphone to get all these devices to the app. It could be an Android or an iOS. In my case, I'm using uh, an Android for the demonstration. Three, your preferred uh, home automation system. In my case, I'm using Hoops, but it's also uh, compatible with the home bridge as well. For this installation, we will need only the IP address, okay? And make sure you have this reserved uh, in your router. Secondly, these LED controllers need a good Wi-Fi coverage. If they don't, they do take time to turn off or change any of the settings that you are calling out to do. I've broken down this video into two parts. The part one is uh, the plugin installation and configuration and part two is using presets. Okay, so before going into the plugins installation and configuration, I'll quickly show how the device uh, is in Magic Home app, okay? So I open up Magic Home app. Let's refresh it. There is it on, off, on, and if you tap on it, you can reduce intensity, increase intensity, as well as change colors. So for now, let's keep it on in this color. And let's go into the uh, plugin installation and uh, presets configuration. Let's not waste time and let's get into this. So the first part is let's log in to your platform. In my case, it's Hoops. Let's go and search for the plugin. hit install and also in the description I've got the step-by-step -step guide so you can always take a look at it in this case uh, we are already going through the installation it does have a basic uh, sample uh, config over here and also we will also go through the preset switches and below these are all the available preset scenes okay so we can you can select one of them and add it to your preset switches which we will go through and some additional information over here to get a uh, better uh, use of your plugin, which we will see as well. So let's go back to our Hoops installation. Here we already have it uh, installed. And let's uh, pick up the uh, information. Okay, so in this case, let's copy 
just this value and paste it. Run out. It, the, normally the debug value I leave it as false so it doesn't uh, uh, write a lot of logs. Just uh, leave it as false. And uh, name, I'm just going to name it as my kids bed. Put in the IP. RGBW. Now this is another important point on the uh, setup. Just make sure your uh, LEDs are RGBW or RGBWW. The plugin works fantastically. Uh, in my case, uh, I have the RGBW. It does work well, but sometimes when you uh, collect uh, or select uh, saturation or color, it doesn't match very well. So the accuracy is not that close. Pure white, I leave it as false because of what I have and timeout zero. And just put it over here. Let's save it. Let's see in our home app if it comes on. The bridge has restarted. And there it is. So let's go on to show controls. We can reduce reducing increasing we can even select colors so we've got the first part done is the plugin installation and the configuration uh, it's already appearing in Apple home kit we can even control it through Apple home kit we don't need the native magic home app uh, from this point onwards now let's go into the second part and let's get those presets uh, scenes uh, installed as well to do that let's go to the tutorial okay and first thing these are the available uh, preset scenes okay uh, if again if you want you can consult through the magic home app okay and if you go to functions you will see uh, some of them over here which is actually all of them over here and you can test it you can test it and you can also see what's the preferred speed you want okay and uh, based on that you can also copy you can copy the speed value whatever your customization and uh, put into the presets so in my case let's go up over here let's select this one preset switch over here one see you're gonna go down here I'm gonna put a comma paste just make sure all of your brackets are there correctly so the first preset switch let's name it correctly let's put it uh, color strobe flash IP is the same that you've already inserted above so 192 86 44 Now this value over here is when you want to turn off the uh, strobe uh, preset, it goes to a default state. So you can uh, put in the values away, which is RGB, red, green, blue. Um, if you want to operate these values, you can just type into Google RGB color picker and uh, you'll get this first up over here. So I've just selected this blue color. I'm just going to copy this. Paste it over here. Just make sure you get all the spaces out. Okay, and the speed, I'm just going to increase it and make it more disco disco. Save it. Let's go back to Apple Home app and see if the changes are showing up. So there it is. Let's hit it. Let's turn it on. There you go. So you've got the strobe effect behind. Up and running. And if you turn it off, it goes back to the default state that we included and it goes off. So when you turn on your kids bed, 
it goes into the value that we left it in the preset switch. Now let's go add another preset switch to see if it works as well. So we're going to add in a comma here. Let's go and select, let's copy this one and paste it below and uh, we'll select from the preset section a seven color crossfade. See, we'll put here in the preset and we're going to put color crossfade. Please make sure the names are not identical. If they're identical, they fail to load. And I'm just going to put the speed to 90. I'm going to hit save with a different uh, color status once it's turned off. Let's go back to Apple Home. There you are, we have another switch over here. Let's see settings. So it is the color cross fade. Let's see if it works. There you are, we have the color cross fade working in the background. And then I'm in the mood of some strobe lights, I'm turning it on. And there we have the strobe light effects. And let's go into the crossfade. Give it a couple of seconds and we got it into the crossfade. And then you can even turn off the LED strip and just turn it on. Oh, there you are. Finally, there we are. Collaboratively, we've got the Magic Home app integrated with Apple Home Kit. Plus, you've got that Disco Disco. Uh, all going on in your house and your parties will be much more better and, and more colorful as well now to keep all of this going please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button that's a real driver that's a real motivator for me uh, if you have any suggestions um, please don't hesitate to put it in the comment sections if you have any doubts uh, do that as well i'm always glad to assist uh, with the community and also answer your uh, questions and if you're interested to get your own Hoops product, I've got the links in the description. It also helps with the channel. And not forgetting the talented developers out there who make all this possible for us and to get all this integration into Apple Home Kit at a cheaper price and with a better value. So until the next time, stay safe, have a nice day. Ciao, thank you, and happy automation.